Well, we welcome you to another way of wisdom as we are looking at the book of Proverbs. And we come to more promises on what wisdom will do in our life. And so I'd like to look, just to begin with, we'll start with verses 21 through 23 of Proverbs 3. My son, let them not depart from your eyes. He's talking about words of wisdom and, and wisdom itself. Keep sound wisdom and discretion. So they will be life to your soul and grace to your neck. Then you will walk safely in your way and your foot will not stumble. You see, God's wisdom is to keep us from stumbling. And so if you will seek God and seek His wisdom in your life, you can be assured He will enable you and warn you how to avoid different areas of stumbling. There's a lot in the book of Proverbs, uh, a father speaking to his son to avoid bondage and uh, to avoid immoral things that would bind him up and actually to avoid the way of death. So seeking wisdom can keep your foot from stumbling. A lot of times we get into trouble because of foolishness. We just don't seek God's wisdom. We don't seek out the principles of God's word. We make decisions based on the way the secular world without God is making decisions, and we end up stumbling. And I believe it's a big danger in the church today that we are allowing the world to kind of lead the way. And we take business books and other kinds of literature and we start applying them in the church more than we even try to apply the Bible. And then we wonder why we're not being blessed. Or in terms of human relationships or in terms of mental health. Are we putting the teachings of the Bible first or are we taking secular uh, uh, philosophies or secular uh, teachings in psychology and even humanism in many ways has crept into the church but if we want the blessing and if we want to not stumble then our wisdom must come from above and it must be based on God's word and so we must always be focusing on wisdom he says let them not depart from your eyes so let the word of God always be before us so let the way of wisdom always be before us you know, I was with my, one of my children in a department store many years ago, and I took my eyes off him just for a minute. I was looking at something. We we're in a clothing section. And just for a minute, I, did, I took my eyes off him. Well, I lost him. I lost him. I didn't know where he was in that store. And pr frankly, I panicked. Well, as it ended up, all was well. He was hiding in one of the racks, just trying to be funny. But he scared, scared me. But you know, it doesn't take long taking your eyes off a child, but what you can lose them. And I think we need to say, I don't ever want to take my eyes off of wisdom and off of God's word. Let it be like grace around our neck so that we can walk safely in the way and our foot will not stumble. But you know what else wisdom will do? Wisdom will help you sleep at night. If you're not sleeping at night, start asking God for his wisdom. Wisdom will guard your heart and mind so that you can sleep at night. Listen to these next verses. We're going to go on into verse 24. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. Yes, you will lie down and your sleep will be sweet. Do not be afraid of sudden terror, nor of trouble from the wicked when it comes. For the Lord will be your confidence and will keep your foot from being caught. Now, as there's traps out there, the world wants to catch you, the enemy wants to catch you, but wisdom will keep you away from those traps and will keep you from being caught. Will you tonight say, Lord, I want your wisdom to even guard over my sleep? This is a promise. He says your sleep will be sweet when you're embracing wisdom, when wisdom is ruling in your life. And again, wisdom only comes from God's word and from God and learning from godly people. So are you focusing on wisdom and letting wisdom always be before you? He'll keep your foot from stumbling. Oh, what a great promise that is. But look at this other promise. Your sleep will be sweet. Next time you wake up in the night, instead of worrying, why don't you pray? And say, God, right now, bless me with your wisdom. Show me your way and let me rest confidently in your way. Because wisdom will always show you the way God wants you to go. 
Let me read it again, and then we'll close. My son, let them not depart from your eyes. Keep sound wisdom and discretion, so they will be life to your soul and grace to your neck. Then you will walk safely in your way, and your foot will not stumble. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. Yes, when you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. Do not be afraid of sudden terror nor of the trouble from the wicked when it comes, for the Lord will be your confidence and will keep your foot from being caught. Lord, thank you for these great promises today that you keep us from stumbling, you keep our feet from being caught if we will only pursue wisdom and keep it ever before us. And Lord, our sleep will be sweet. And we thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.